We begin now, though, with that breaking news out of Surfside. That's where firefighters and first responders are on the scene following a building collapse. We have CBS 4 News team coverage, beginning with Brooke Schaefer. Brooke, we heard from the mayor of Surfside. We heard from someone who lived in that building. Uh, what can you tell us and what else is going on from your vantage point? Well, really, everybody just calling this a horrific catastrophe. Nobody can really understand how something like this would happen. And, Francis, I do want to mention around 9 or 9.15, weather permitting, we are hoping to uh, have a press conference with police and get a more official update. But, again, we have been standing about a block, a block and a half away from the building all morning long. You can see there are still several rescue crews here. We are still being held back by some police tape. We did have some video as well from earlier this morning of one of the rescues. We saw several people being rescued from this building. Some dramatic video, though, this morning of a young boy being saved. And if you look at that video, something to really sink in here among the rubble is mattresses, bed frames, carpets, you know, household items, because that is really the nightmare part of this whole scenario. The fact that people were not only home, but but asleep. It all happened in the middle of the night. And Francis, we did hear from the mayor of Surfside just moments ago, giving us a bit of a grim outlook on what he thinks is left here at this scene. Uh, right now, we, we have dogs out in the middle of the night uh, looking for survivors in the, uh, in the rubble. But it was just so dangerous and so dark that uh, they made one pass and they did not get any hits. I know that uh, they were coming back at daylight, so I know they're out there right now looking. The problem is the building has literally pancaked. It has gone down, and I mean, there's, there's just feet in between stories where there were 10 feet. Uh, that is, uh, it is heartbreaking because it doesn't mean to me that we're going to be successful, as successful as we would want to be to find people alive. So again, Francis, we are obviously on the side of the building that is still intact. It's the other side of the building that the mayor described as pancaked in his words. And at this point, we don't know how many people were inside this building when the partial collapse happened. But Francis, pretty frightening to say the least. Uh, the mayor said he believes the building was definitely full. He fears that there are several units with people still unaccounted for. At this point, we know one person has died, at least nine people taken to the hospital. Again, we are hoping for a more official update from police and from firefighters in just about an hour or so. Francis?